Chrome Studios Melbourne, originally Beam Software, was an Australian video game development studio founded in 1977 by Alfred Milgram and Naomi Besson and based in Melbourne, Australia. The studio operated independently from 1988 until 2000, when it was acquired by Infogrames, who changed the name to Melbourne House. In 2006 the studio was sold to Chrome Studios, the name Beam was a contraction of the names of the founders, Naomi Besson and Alfred Milgram. History Home computer era In the early years, two of Beam's programs were milestones in their respective genre. The Hobbit, a 1982 text adventure by Philip Mitchell and Veronica Megler, sold more than a million copies. It employed an advanced parser by Stuart Ritchie and had real-time elements. Even if the player didn't enter commands, the story would move on. In 1985 Greg Barnett's two-player martial arts game The Way of the Exploding Fist helped define the genre of one-on-one -on -one fighting games on the home computer. The game won Best Overall Game at the Golden Joystick Awards. In 1988 Beam's publisher, parent company Melbourne House, was sold to Mastertronic for £850,000. Subsequently games were released through varying publishers. The 1988 fighting games Samurai Warrior and Fist Plus, the third installment in the Exploding Fist series, were published through Telecomsoft's Firebird label. 1988 also saw the release of Space Shoot'em Up Bedlam, published by Go, one of U.S. Gold's labels, and The Muncher, published by Gremlin Graphics. Shift to consoles and PCs In 1987 Nintendo granted a developer's license for the NES and Beam developed games on that platform for US and Japanese publishers. Targeted at an Australian audience, releases such as Aussie Rules Footy and International Cricket for the NES proved successful. In 1992 they released the original title Nightshade, a dark superhero comedy game. The game was meant to be the first part in a series, but no sequels were ever made, however, it served as the basis for Shadowrun. In 1993 they released Shadowrun, with an innovative dialogue system using the acquisition of keywords which could be used in subsequent conversations to initiate new branches in the dialogue tree. In 1997, Beam relaunched the Melbourne House brand, under which they published the PC titles Crush Kill and Destroy KKND, and the sequels KKND Extreme and KKND 2, Crossfire. They released KKND 2 in South Korea well before they released it in the American and European markets, and pirated versions of the game were available on the Internet before it was available in stores in the U.S. They were the developers of the 32 bits versions of Norse by Norse West, The Return of the Lost Vikings for the Sega Saturn, PlayStation and PC in 1996. They also helped produce SNES games such as WCW Super Brawl Wrestling, Super Smash TV and an updated version of International Cricket titled Super International Cricket. They ported the Sega Saturn game Bug, to Windows 3, X in August, 1996. 1998 saw a return to RPGs with Alien Earth, again with a dialogue tree format. Also in 1998, the studio developed racing games Deathgers and GP500. In 1999 Beam Software was acquired by Infogrames and renamed to Infogrames Melbourne House. <laughs> 2000s 
They continued to cement a reputation as a racing game developer with Test Drive, Le Mans and Looney Tunes, Space Race, both Dreamcast and PlayStation 2, followed by the technically impressive Grand Prix Challenge, PlayStation 2, before a disastrous venture into third-person shooters with Men in Black 2, Alien Escape, PlayStation 2, GameCube. In 2004, the studio released Transformers for the PlayStation 2 games console based on the then current Transformers Armada franchise by Hasbro. The game reached the top of the UK PlayStation 2 games charts, making it Melbourne House's most successful recent title. The studio then completed work on PlayStation 2 and PlayStation Portable ports of Eden's next generation Xbox 360 title Test Drive, Unlimited. In December 2005, Atari decided to shift away from internal development, seeking to sell its studios, including Melbourne House. In November 2006 Chrome Studios announced that it had acquired Melbourne House from Atari and that the studio would be renamed to Chrome Studios Melbourne. <laughs> Games Topic as Beam Software, Melbourne House 1982, Hungry Horus, Horus Goes Skiing, Horus and the Spiders, The Hobbit 1984, Castle of Terror, Hampstead, Muggsy, Sherlock 1985, Gyroscope, Lord of the Rings, Game 1, Terra Molinos, Way of the Exploding Fist, Wham! The Music Box 1986, Qua, Asterix and the Magic Cauldron, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, Marble Madness, Muggsy's Revenge, Red Hawk 1987, Bop and Rumble, Throne of Fire, Road Wars, Shadows of Mordor 1988, Samurai Warrior, The Battles of Usagi Yojimbo, The Muncher, Xenon 1989, War in Middle Earth, Back to the Future, NES 1990, Back to the Future Part 2 and 3, NES Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum, NES Boulder Dash, Game Boy, NBA All Star Challenge, Game Boy, The Punisher, NES 1991, Hunt for Red October, Game Boy, Smash TV, NES Family Feud, NES JRR. Tolkien's Riders of Rohan, Dose, Aussie Rules Footy, NES, Power Punch 2, NES, 1992, T2, The Arcade Game, Game Boy, NBA All Star Challenge 2, Game Boy, Tom and Jerry, GB, Super Smash TV, SNES, George Foreman's Co Boxing, Game Boy, 1993, We're Back BC, Game Boy, Agro Soar, Game Boy. Blades of Vengeance, Genesis, NFL Quarterback Club, Game Boy, Radical Rex, Genesis, Shadowrun, SNES, Super High Impact, Genesis, SNES, Tom and Jerry, Frantic Antics, Genesis, 1994, The Simpsons, Itchy and Scratchy in Miniature Golf Madness, Game Boy, WCW, The Main Event, Game Boy, Super Smash TV, GG. SMS, Solitaire Funpack, Game Boy, Cricket 97 Ashes Edition, PC, Radical Rex, SNES 1995, True Lies, GB, Genesis, SNES, The Dame Was Loaded, PC, 1996 to 5 in 1 Fun Pack, GG, Wildcats, SNES 1997, Caesar's Palace, PlayStation 1997 Crush, Kill and Destroy PC 1998 Deathcurs PC 1998 NBA Action 98 PC 1998 KKND2 Crossfire PC PlayStation 1999 GP500 PC Topic as Infogrames Melbourne House, Atari Melbourne House 
2000, Test Drive Le Mans, Dreamcast, Looney Tunes, Space Race, Dreamcast. 2001, Le Mans 24 Hours, PS2. 2002, Le Mans 24 Hours, PC, Space Race, PS2, Men in Black 2, Alien Escape, PS2, Grand Prix Challenge, PS2. 2003, Men in Black 2, Alien Escape, Nintendo GameCube. 2004, Transformers, PS2. 2007, Test Drive Unlimited, PS2, PSP